If you can see his bio, just say I can see. Yes, I can see. You can see his bio. Say yes, I can see. Yes, I can see. Let's have that in the in the group chat. If you can see his bio, say yes, I can see. Yes, I can see. So I already all other the shares a completely unemployable serial entrepreneur the co-founder of make wave nigeria at www.makewavemakewesafe.com the chief trainer at nigeriamarketingpro.com is a lifestyle entrepreneur he trains he coach he writes he mentors people throughout the world who wants to start their own business from scratch and people are ready to take full ownership of their lives. He has mentored people from all walks of life to be successful beyond their widest dream. Students, they are told moms, waiters, doctors, lawyers, and engineers. It doesn't matter your background. He helps someone like you build a life that they, that they dream of but I had no idea where to start. So, on this note, I'm going to uh, introduce to us the person of AOC. We call him AOC. So, it's live to engage us tonight. Sir, you have the floor. Okay. Hello. Can you guys hear me? Yes, we can hear you. All right. Good evening, everyone. Um, let me start by saying that I am impressed with the setup of, of this summit. And um, I don't have to introduce myself again, but let me just say that my name is I am the United Charles, but just for simplicity's sake, you can call me AOC. Sorry that uh, the light is not showing my face. But I can see some of our faces, and I'm glad to see beautiful and handsome faces tonight. Okay, now let me appreciate the convener of this summit, uh, in person of Mr. Dayo Adetiloye, and I also want to appreciate other speakers, likewise the participants, because only those who have uh, that are determined to take the full ownership of their lives. That uh, the will think about attending this kind of a program or me this kind of an event. So I celebrate you guys. Okay, the first time I came, I mean the first time I attended this summit because it's a yearly program. The first time I attended this program, I learned a lot. I had to join all the way from, uh, it, I was in Naked State then. Although currently I'm in Accra, I'm speaking with you all the way from Accra at this moment. I was in Adoki and I joined all the way from Adoki to, to attend the program. And uh, categorically, I can tell you that the strategies and the uh, things, principles I got from the program. After the program, I use I I put it into practice, and I can categorically tell you that brought me five figures. Any. I, would, I believe you should understand what I mean about practical health. So what am I trying to say? What I'm trying to say is that don't just let this uh, summit be a kind of a program, like one of those programs that you come to attend and uh, you just get informed and you not transform. Do you understand? Because uh, what I've been seeing before now are transformational messages. During the aspect of learning, we have uh, informational learning and transformational learning. What we have been exposed to since are uh, transformational learning. Although we have been informed as people, we, we should be transformed. And how can that be? 
by not just listening, but putting what you have learned to action. So and that's that. So guys, let's go to tonight's action. We I have been starting with the responsibility of talking on networking, how to build for influential people. Okay. I want to so I want to believe that some of us are Christians. We go to the Bible and you see the story of um Abraham and Lot. Abraham was a blessed man. When he associated with Lot, he was the blessedness of him was not manifested. However, it was Lot that was being blessed. But by the time he dissociated and came from Lot, his blessedness become manifested. What am I trying to say? If you have five friends that are minorities, you'll be deceased to be no man. If you have five friends that are poor, you'll be the sixth poor guy. Uh, just like Ron says, I believe the Ron is not new to many of us. He said, You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. You are the average of the five people you, spoke, you, you spend the most, your most time with. Now, I am a guy that loves soccer, loves football. I I I have most time I go to watch football at the football showroom. I hang out with those uh, that also uh supporting my club. That's what I so, and I've come to believe that all opportunities come from or to other people, whether they are in French people or not, all opportunities that come from people. You need people in the adventure of life. And that's why I'm so a fan of attending life princes and like this. Why? Because I get to meet with people. And I believe in front of every community is a person who has to suggest to me. That's why right. this kind of stuff I don't take I don't take it for granted. In fact, this morning I attended uh in this VP I found past seven. I've attended three stores today. Just the job I don't have to be, you know, I have to be um moving up and I have to plan that I also need to add to one thing of error in front of opportunity is people that really want to help others. And that has helped me a lot in terms of how I see things, how I see people. I make sure that when, any, wherever I meet you, either you are influential or not, I come before you with a great Just like you know that first impression last time. So the best way to build the network is to start building relationship before you need anything and that's building expectations you have to build your relationship now before you let you know you need anything let it go from tonight and i feel like it's all about making friends you know make friends you know, like as adults we make friends day by day also, Okay. Um, it's like the network is uh, breaking. Uh, yeah, the network is breaking. So we are suggesting that maybe you use um audio alone. Yeah. The network is breaking. So we are looking at, since there is no light from your end, you can close the video I will share something from here, then you can just talk from your end so that we can have a, and we can have a, a, a good uh, visual experience. 
So from your end, you can off the, vid the, the your video. So we just listen to your voice. So you just listen to your audio. Give us a, a better experience. So so you can go ahead now. So our, our speaker will reconnect again. Um, the voice is uh, cracking. So maybe it's changing its network now. So that we can have a very fantastic session for his own uh, section. Okay, but from some of the things he has said so far, he's talking about how to build network of influential people. He's talking about how to build network of inf influential people. And um, so he's back now. So you can unmute yourself now and, and engage your goods. Can you hear me now? Hello, can you guys hear me? Yes. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, you can continue now. All right, all right, sir. Okay, let me quickly go to uh, how you can connect with because if you are just starting to earn some sources in life or you want to make connection outside the circles, how can you do that? And I want to know that all of the teaching with you tonight are practice I'm gathering from theory. I do practice things, put them, join them down. Then I keep practicing to get results and advanced practices concerning such uh, topics. Now, the thing I did when I was attending najamketempro.com was, you know, I started, we, we nobody knows about this network. I mean, about this, about this, so the first part two of course we as I interview uh influencers players in my niche. So I start begin interviewing them, I start working to them, I start asking for interview. So the first step you can do is to ask for interview. A great opening because we talk invariably in, in your circle, so ask them for interviews. If you are probably you have to go to or you are writing an article or you are writing a book or you have just like you know we just learn about how to build a website and that maybe just you are thinking about building a website now and you want to make it you know a, a great platform the best you do is to interview the influencers your your niche and let me tell you here that you want to make the request to be sincere if you are not truly interested in feeling in, in some way or other, you do not make the request. And the quickest way that I personally observe is to, to kill a relationship is to start out on force. When you start in a relationship on the first times, you are already killing that relationship. So asking a pleasure to just circle you for interview can be great will offer an influence on kind of value exchange for their time because when you by the time you are coming there you are updating it on your your websites you are also you know increasing their brand out because i believe you blasting on social media you blasting you can even run facebook as we did you can do some other thing just to make others to be connected with them so that is the first thing the idea when we were starting the jam marketing pool. And I believe you also, you can do that. Another thing you can do is to join a program of personality that you want to connect with. For example, if you are looking at connecting with Mrs. VP Apapa, she has a mentoring program of our product and services she has listed them out. Why can't you just join one of our programs? Do you understand? These are ways, these are things I did while you know, 
jogging market pro. So many of the key influencers in your local area or even the national sports class, they offer mentorship or any uh, program. So just like the way um uh, our Mrs. B.P. Abamba has laid out our programs and even Mr. Tukune Kazin has also our programs can key to that. This may be a bit of a paid play option anyway. Do you understand? But what's harm um, in paying for your influential valuable time? Is there any harm there? I don't think there's any harm there. When you learn something along the way, benefiting from a personal relationship training. So you can join their program and as well you have way more free style with them. I join their program and you'll be showcasing your ideas. And this has to be a part of their world. And uh, now, let's assume that you can't afford their programs. What else can you do? You can offer to work for them for free. If you have to, you can offer to work for them for free. If you have to, it's another great alternative. If you are willing to put in the time and effort, this thing works. If you now buy their program, what can you offer to? What we call their advocates on socials. Uh, asking them for interviews. Number two is to join their program. And number three now is to become their advocate on social media. I remember uh, when I was starting up this Nigeria Marketing Pro then, I, I began to follow some influencers uh, on social media in our niche. Whatever post they share, I make sure that I also share it. I click on the share button on Facebook. I retweet their tweets and some other things like that. Just and I also share their their posts with my um with, with my circle with the people in my circle with my list email list. I share with them. And I think Mister Day is also sharing it. He always shares uh, this month, uh, Mr. Abib Bolami to his um, posts and the likes programs with us. Because so many times I've always been seeing him posting it. That is, he's becoming his advocate. So most influencers are personalities. Most influencers and personalities directly access their social media pages. And believe it or not, they are paying attention to who support them, especially if those supporters pop up on a constant basis. If you pop up on, uh, on their screen on constant basis, they will take notice of you. If you're on Twitter, just like what I said earlier on, not only tweet the best content, but share it with your network along with an insightful comment. Maybe you see post being shared by your influencer. You will retweet, you will retweet it, but also um, share it along with an insightful comment. Don't just like the post of your uh, of 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 an influencer in your niche or influencer person you want to connect with. You can comment on it with an insightful comment. If you are on LinkedIn, comment on the articles and share the articles with your network. Also, if you're on Facebook, just like what I said Aaron, set up notifications. I do this a lot. Set up notifications for when they post, when they post new content. And be the first person to post a comment. And I have posted the comment, share their, their, their post. To Keep in mind that call must add value. This is essential. Don't just share it. Your call comment on their post. But to wish the video the created before you comment and add something to their to their post. Hello guys, are you still here? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we are hearing you, but the Hello? network is being fracking. Can you hear me? Yes, we can Hello? still hear you, can but you hear me? 
platin. Can you just hear me clearly now? Yes, go ahead. Go okay. Ahead. We are trying. Yes. Okay. Another thing you can do is to find uh connectors. You can find can connectors. You know, we are no longer bound to geographic areas. If there is an influencer you would like to meet, us are that you don't know. Hello. Yes, go Hello, AOC. Can you hear us? Hello, can you hear us? So he's, he's going to send us uh, his uh, right up to the WhatsApp group soon. Um, we had network issues for me. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you though. The network... Hello. But you can see... Sorry, the network is bad here. Yeah. The network is, is, is bad. Yes, we can see that. Yes, the network is... The network is bad. Sorry for the transmission. Is the I'm trying to get a better. I'm trying to create a better uh, channel where I have better access to you guys. Let me just quickly run towards her. I see her here. Like I said, connector. We are no longer back to the gravel uh, area. Is that? Uh, Influencer, you would like me. All I've got to know someone who knows who can introduce you. What I'm trying to say that someone, an influencer, say, or an influencer, you would like to meet. The odds are there that you know someone who knows someone who can introduce you to the team. A uh, personal question could come with much higher than code request. So sometimes feeling who could connect with the individual you are asking. Let me use this thing again. You know, I talked about um I said when we were starting the MRT program, we wanted to move it faster. So we were connecting with the viewers and the likes. Now there was a time we wanted to review one influential in our niche. And we do not have any relationship with the person. We make sure we have never met the person before, have never met before. We do not even know the person. The person knows us, does not even know whether we are sitting. So, what did we do? What we did is what, what we try to research the people in Ataku that knows us. So we check about Facebook. I check my Facebook too, and we try to see the uh, mutual friends that she knows that I also know. And what else did we do? We now we have we now saw one person that we have good connection, good connectivity with. And all we was just ask the person to close and get connected with the person. Now that. We, we see that we see that in 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 the interview the person and that interview generated a lot of publicity for the site. So many people from other countries, USA, Canada, uh, Canada, they started blasting us with messages. We started got seeing a uh, great personality in our name. So it's come to your head. It might be someone that you think that does not even matter in your streets. That will be the person that will connect you to your influence. Yeah. So, also, the 
good to everyone. And a book, uh, let me just uh, recommend this book. Although I have some books too that you can buy anyway, but I recommend this book. The book is from the the Kennegan. The hello, can you hear me now? Yeah, can you hear me? Go ahead. So, uh, the the book is Kennedy. Okay, okay. So, uh, how to win friends, friends, people. If you have never read that book before, you are you are not doing yourself good. If you have never read that book before, how to influence, uh, how to win friends and influence people by the Carnegie. I will advise you not to look because it book personality teaches you everything you need to know about building relationship, maintaining, sustaining it, with the other with the special people or commons. I will encourage you to get the book. Another thing you need to is to offer a solution. This is important, very important. Offer a solution. When you reach out to someone for a connection that you don't know, it's a good idea to prepare some kind of solution you can provide them. When you reach out to someone for a connection that you don't know, it's a good idea to prepare some kind of valuable solution you can provide them. This is the fifth one. Offer a solution. Offer a solution. Let me teach you a great uh, system of this where you can think of because there's a, I told you what all this in the sharing and uh, what I've done before are practical things. I don't teach theory. Let me teach you this uh, you can think of up to 10 business years or solutions that are fully well thought out. You will organize them. They send them to influencers you will like to with. With no request or ask, don't, don't request anything in return. Just prepare uh, 10 big ideas. You can just simply pick up the ideas and say, I just use the one day. No, but the key to this is really you have to put solutions that are relevant to your future. I'm not asking for anything in return. I'd, let me repeat myself again. I have done it while it works. We create a business idea or solution that are truly uh, relevant or influential or to, to the best you want to connect with. You prepare them, you organize them. You have this as a well thought solution. You then send it to them and say, I said, it is yours to use if you want them. I took them out that to good for you to use. I want to let you know that it's an unusual or memorable technique because so few people offer something and ask for nothing in return. If you offer for so, if you offer some, so many people will be thinking of getting something in return. Only few people ask for something and ask for nothing in return. So this is a great technique. But sometimes you can, for months, even years, continuously provide them great ideas. Many times you will not get any kind of response you are expecting, but sometimes you will too. You will. But don't forget this number five key. It has the key to, to make it materialize to what you want. The key to this purpose, it has to be really smart solutions that are relevant to them and not ask for anything ask for everything and because of my time let me now run this up with two more people you have to attend an event i will summarize it in my own paraphrase donald trump, trump says when he left his own base to another place the first place he was looking for was where he could get people to buy 
and the first place we went to was where the rich normally hang out at the of the club at America, where do you meet influencers too? It's at events. They come as public speakers, they come as you know, panelists and some things like that. There is a great chance to meet a key influencer by simply attending a conference, networking event, or book signing. You can attend the networking event, you can attend the conference or book signing. Search out an opportunity to say hi and introduce yourself. It has a key. Don't just attend for the sake of just meeting. It has so steps you have to take. No, after attending, then you have to search out for the opportunity to say hi and this, although it's an old fashioned tactic anyway. Because these days now we hold events on social media, just like the one we are hosting now is on social media. I can only see you can't, you even some are not even displaying, just like the winner talk is not allowing me to be able to display my, to display my picture now. Myself, I mean, to, to make it of myself. So, uh, all the things I just told is an old fashioned, but it's still We are still seeing live events. We are still having network events. So, this is, this is an old fashioned tax, but it's still available. So, do some preliminary introduction. After that, then follow up. It's simply simple. I memorable. Appreciate them. Appreciate you. Put this video. I think how many people have appreciated what you press in the last seven days? How uh, many people have appreciated the record or the way or the way you shoot? You can do something like that. You can appreciate the, the way they dress, even the way they spoke, or uh, I mean, the way they, probably they are the, the great speaker for the event. You can appreciate the way they, they are speaking sense. You don't appreciate something in this. Then you have to make sure that you, you, you follow all. It's simplistic, but it works. I have done it before. You can also now. The last but not the least is I will encourage you also to join a talking business. Yes, I want to let you know that virtually all of the contacts I have these days are some of those who have at the time with a networking business. Network marketing business. I am not talking of Ponzi scheme. I am talking of a network marketing business. I can advise you or encourage you to to join one if you you are you really you are really serious about connecting with influencers in your stack. I can advise you. I can encourage you to join the network marketing business. Why? Because you know, we get to have networking events, we get to travel, okay. uh, we get to meet with new people, we get to get, uh, meet to with, with you know, we have different kinds of people, we have people in the network, people from the west, from the east, from the north, from the south, people from all our continents, and the like. Okay, can we start uh, getting people to ask questions? Uh, Hello, Mr. Dyer, what do you say? Okay, uh, let's get people to start asking questions for your presentation for major part of it. We couldn't hear you very well, but I will re-echo some of your points now. Uh, he's talking about how to build networks of influential people, and he here with us some fundamental points. And I'm going to reiterate some of the things he has shared right now. Uh, one of the things he shared was that we must uh, invite influential people for interview. Like we are inviting a lot of influential people to come and speak to us right now. So you can connect to them by inviting them for an interview. He also mentioned that you can work for them for free. You can work for them for free. He mentioned that. So if you have 
influential people around you, don't always target the money. Any small thing, you charge them. Any little thing, you charge them. If you want to get their attention, then you work for them for free. He also mentioned that be an advocate of their content. There are some people on social media now, when they talk, I just share their content. I just keep sharing. And they are noticing who is sharing their content. They are noticing who is not sharing their content. So because people want to connect, but they are skeptical of who they should connect with. They also mentioned that we should connect to their programs, their products. So when you see them giving you an offer, buy their products. Don't always want to collect from them. Also find a way of giving to them. Another thing that he mentioned is that you should offer something for free. Look for something you can offer for free and offer them for free. I remember that um, I have one of my protege. Anytime he comes to me, he buys something. Even if it's a book, even if it's a bio, he always brings something. And that goes a long way. If he needs anything today, I'm always there for him. So offer something of value for free. Then he also say you should learn how to appreciate people. Appreciate them, comment on the addresses, comment on, on uh, their shoes. If they have new wares, comment on it. You connect people. And the last point he mentioned was to join a network marketing business. This will help you to be able to connect with people that you did not know. So he, he shared with us his own experience of network uh, marketing. So uh, those are the things uh, that he shared with us tonight. And uh, somebody has also helped us to type it on the group chat. But we know that uh, Mr. AOC, as a document, is preparing for us. Once the document is ready, we are going to drop it in all our WhatsApp group. Uh, Mr. AOC, do you still have uh, things to tell us before we begin to round up on your section and ask people to ask questions and we get comments from people? So uh, it is up now. But if you want to comment on the topic of a section, how to build network of influential people, maybe you have strategy you have used over time. Let's say you want to connect to Dangote today. How will you go about it? Have you done something like that before? Maybe Mike Adenuga and all the influential people in uh, Nigeria and all over the world. How have you been able to do that? How have you been able to connect to that? That is the topic of discussion for this session. Before we go to our last session tonight, our speaker is getting ready for us for the last session. So if you would like to talk, just raise up your hand and we'll move then. We can also share comment from you and get insight from our participant. So if you want to uh, make any comment or talk, just raise up your hand. We'll give you the opportunity. We are so sorry for the a uh, network that is bringing the audio very, very faint and, and all that. So who is going for us? Who is starting? Okay, so we have Honor Gyros. Uh, you have the floor, Honor Gyros. So how have you been able to use some of this strategy to connect to influential people? You can unmute yourself now, Honor Gyros. Oh, sorry. I thought it was the, the time for a question. That's why I have a question. Yes, go ahead and, and ask question. My question is, maybe you you meet an influencer that is from, not, not in your industry, like you are in ICT and the person in a, in a in a construction. And you want to connect with such a person. What are the values will you be able to create or give to that person? Okay, so like construction right. industry, and you want to connect to that person, and the person did not know you from Adam. All right, so yes. uh, the first um, insight I will give to you is that everybody you see, yeah. they are connected to people. 
So you there is this idea that I used to say that you are five people away for the from the person you want to connect to. Five people away from the person you want to connect to. So anybody you want to connect to, there is somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that you know that can link you up that chain. So what you need to do is number one, you must be visible to them. When we say visible, if they mention your name, we they say they've had your name before. If they are in a particular association, you can decide and join that association and be active. Before you know, one day, uh, you, you'll be able to have a discussion together. Let's say you, you belong to the same church with that person. Then you can uh, begin to, let's say the person goes to a particular church and you are not going to that church. You can, because you want to connect to that person, join a group in that church that can help you to connect to that person. Now, in, in your industry, which is construction, the funniest thing is that it might not be construction that will bring you together. It might be something totally different. It could be something like uh, you, the, you belong to a golf club that you play golf together. That might be what will bring you together. It might be that, okay, you, you are going to the same event together. Maybe I'm inviting somebody and I'm inviting you and I'm the one linking you together. So there is no hard and fast rule about how you can connect to that person, but just open your mind. It's not compulsory you have to connect to that person via your uh, construction industry. It could be outside the industry, but when you connect, you now the reason you you must also know the reason why you want to connect to people. That reason will prepare you to be able to connect with them. So I hope that answer your question. Let's hear from Yakubu KG. Uh, I will mute you now so you can mute yourself and uh, ask a question. You're welcome. Okay. Okay. Good evening, everyone. My yes. question is: When Mr. Yos said we could join networking business, what are examples of networking business we can join? Because there are so many Ponzi skills around and they call themselves networking business. So I want to know examples of those we can join. Thank you. Okay, that's that's awesome. So uh, there is difference between Ponzi and network marketing. Now, any business that doesn't have a product or a service that backs up their business, that means they are not selling anything. And when we say selling anything, that means they are not selling any service, they are not selling any products. Most likely it's going to be a Ponzi scheme. So anything they introduce to you, the first question will be, what are you selling? If they are selling something you cannot explain, just leave them and run away. But if they are selling something that they can explain, you can see with your physical eyes, you can use, so let me give an example. In yeah, doing my own section, I'm going to introduce you to some opportunity. They are network marketing based. But do you know that this uh, network marketing, they sell products, they sell services. Uh, Mr. AOC is back here. So I, I can also give him opportunity to, to contribute on that question. Uh, the question says, how can you differentiate Ponzi schemes from network marketing? And what are the examples of network marketing that we can recommend? So, um, can we have you back? Is, is the network better now? Yes, uh, yes. Can, I, can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Yes, very clear. Yes. Okay, sorry for the break in transmission. The network at my hands is just doing me shaky. I've been doing all I can just to make sure that I pass out the information I have. Now, the question that person is asking is that how can you differentiate between a network marketing business and a Ponzi scheme? It's simple. When you see a Ponzi, a Ponzi scheme does not have an actual value. All they do is uh, money games. Bring one, get this, bring this, get that. And a Ponzi scheme does not really have a product or services or a consumables that they are trading. 
if a company should come to you now and Okay, we can hear him again. Yeah. Okay, we can hear him again, but I'm going to share something for us now. Uh, okay, Anthony Atim said, consider joining social service club. Also engage with your professional association. If you are an engineer, you should be active in Nigeria Society of Engineers. Be active in your place of worship. For example, if you are a Christian, you could consider to be active in service group, men's fellowship, youth fellowship. You can meet business and career contact in these and more places. Thank you very much, Anthony Etim, for that wonderful contribution from your hand. Um, who has have any other question uh, before we move to the next section? Our guest speaker final section tonight is here already. Uh, is here already. So, uh, any question on this? This topic is very important. You don't want to leave this summit, and you have an influential person you want to connect to, and you don't know what to do to connect to that person. That's the reason why this topic is very important. You, you must be able to connect to them. See, your next level, the, the kind of money you need in your next level is already in the hand of somebody. I remember one of the contracts that, for a training contract that I had the opportunity to, to assess about two years ago. It was somebody that introduced me to that organization. Somebody introduced me to that organization before uh, so i was recommended so you need influential people to know you like you trust you so that they can recommend you for bigger opportunities for they, they can be there for you so it's very very important so we need to learn all this for us um mr aoc uh he has an offer for us and I'm going to project it now. Uh, this offer, he has a website. You can follow him on the website. Like I said, he's going to, sh he's going to show us, uh, he's going to share with us the write-up for this uh, program so that he will send it to us. So I'm, I'm going to share with us his uh, website link right now. He has a website and he has an offer for us uh, tonight. So I'm going to share that with us so that you can go to the link and see some of the things that he has for us today. So uh, I will copy it now. Uh, he has something that he runs for Black Friday. So his website is Ninja Marketing Pro. So I'm going to share that with us right now. Uh, so just give me some few minutes. One thing I'm so sure of is if you are very consistent with this summit for the next three days, the kind of offer you will get, the kind of opportunities you will get, your life can never remain the same. So um, I have shared the I've shared the website and the link and i'm going to project same now i'm going to project the website and the link right now so that you can uh, follow some of the things that he has for us so i'm going to stop this right now then i will share the link So can, can we see the link, nigeriamarketingpro.com 
slash Black Friday. So go to that link. You will see what Mr. AOC has for us. Uh, please don't uh, miss this opportunity. You know this period, like I said in my first presentation, Black Friday is always the time that people get a lot of discounts. So Black Friday with this summit, you are getting a whole lot of discount for yourself. A whole lot of discount for yourself. So please let's maximize uh, that.